Hello, my name's Dan Jeffries and I am one of the trustees uh, for Medics for Rare Diseases. And I'm also the very proud and lucky owner of two rare diseases, uh, Weiber Mason syndrome, uh, which has left me blind in my left eye, and acromegaly, which I was diagnosed with when I was 30, which is a benign tumor in the pituitary gland. You can tell by looking at my profile and my jaw that uh, my growth hormones were working in overdrive. However, I'm not here to talk about me for once. What I'm here to talk about is uh, the amazing Rare Disease 101 course that uh, Medics for Rare Diseases have developed over the past year. Uh, and I've been very proud and fortunate to be involved in the development and the production of it. Now that's partly because my day job uh, involves uh, online learning, digital learning. And so it seemed natural uh, to want to be involved in developing a really in exciting and engaging course to help medics understand the basics of rare disease. And we've done that uh, through a um, collection of interactive lessons, uh, which uh, we think are both rewarding, informative, uh, and at the end give a, a certificate and further discussion and thoughts about uh, the roles that medics play in the diagnosis or the discovery of, of rare diseases in their patients uh, and uh, things like the diagnostic odyssey and, and how difficult it is for patients to be diagnosed. So uh, we took a bit of a while to get the course built and structured in such a way that we wanted but we're now really proud and pleased with the end result. So the course starts off with an introductory video from our very own Dr Lucy Mackay uh, talking about uh, RD101 and uh, once you've watched the introductory video you can find out a bit more about this course you can see our first instance of an interaction uh, and we use these speech bubbles and these info icons uh, to make it clear that this is where quotes come in uh, provided by Genetic Alliance which has offered a really valuable uh, extra dimension to the to the learning and then uh, we get into the lessons themselves. And these are built with fantastic software called H5P. And I'm, I'm telling you this because H5P is a free tool uh, that anyone can go and build content with uh, and put on their site. And you can see that I've already started this lesson. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning and we utilize this sort of slideshow approach uh, where we introduce the learning objectives uh, we advise if there's going to be any audio content and in this one I actually have the pleasure of narrating uh, what it, uh, uh, key uh, information about uh, rare diseases. Once we get through these slides we get to some knowledge checks and this is going to test us on, our, on our, uh, the information that we've retained about this course. So how many different rare diseases have been described? I think it was more than 7,000. Yes. And so I can work on to question two and I can now start dragging and dropping the words in uh, uh, to or the phrases to complete this paragraph. So rare diseases are individually, uh, well, they're not individually common, are they? So they're individually rare, I think, but collectively they're common affecting approximately, well, we think that one's probably 3.5 million. I'm not gonna do the rest, but I can check this so far, and I can see I've got three out of six, fantastic. And I can go on to my final knowledge check, and I can have a guess here. I think it's that one. Oh no, I got it wrong. So I can retry, uh, we'll have a go at 35 million. Oh my goodness, I got it wrong, I can have another go. Uh, and if I'm really struggling, oh, I got it right. I can show the solution. And once I get to the end of the lesson, I need to go to my summary slide and this will give me my score. And I can then go back to the course and I can now see that this lesson has been ticked off and I have a progress completion of 13%. So that's my overall progress in the course. And I can now go on to lesson two, the Diagnostic Odyssey, which is made up of two parts, a lesson about the Diagnostic Odyssey and a fantastic uh, um, presentation uh, uh, using images from Sarah Lippitt's A Puff of Smoke 
uh, graphic novel. So this really highlights the diagnostic odyssey uh, taken by Sarah to reach a diagnosis. Uh, and so uh, what we are asking uh, our, our students to do is to progress through all of these lessons, complete all eight subjects, and at the end, these restrictions will become available. So the restrictions being uh, a summary, a precy of the key factors, and also your very own uh, uh, certificate with your name and, and the date completed and the course title uh, confirming that you have completed the course. Uh, we've also got useful references uh, related to each lesson, uh, information about the authors uh, and the various organizations who were involved. You just simply click and you get to read about them. Uh, we also have uh, 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 acknowledgement of the fantastic sponsors who have supported uh, this project and M4RD. And perhaps most importantly, a rare disease discussion board, uh, which I won't click on for GDPR purposes. And I don't want to reveal anyone's personal details that might be on here, but there are some great discussions in here. And this is your place to ask questions and share your experiences about RD101. Uh, a reminder too that this will work on both mobile and tablets as well as computers uh, and we're really really proud uh, of uh, this um, course and I'm very pleased and honoured to have been involved in it and I think it's a, a fantastic end result. So make your way over to learn.m4rd.org or if you go to the M4RD website uh, click on the learn link at the top and have a great time learning more about rare diseases.